Hey guys, today we're doing something a little different. I'm actually doing a review on a product. It's actually a set of products, um, and that is Solarez, the UV curing resin. I'm sure you've seen it in a lot of my videos. Nowadays there's quite a bit of uh, resins out there, but Solarez actually was the one that invented uh, UV curing resin. I think they originally did it for surfboards, um, a quick way to actually um, repair a surfboard I think. I'm not, I'm not a surfer so I don't really know exactly uh, but at least that's what I've gathered. They have quite a bit of products now and they actually are relatively inexpensive. Of all the brands that actually make them they are the least expensive. Uh, of the quality stuff this is not the we're not including the stuff, the cheap stuff that you get from China that um, doesn't really work very well. Uh, this is quality stuff made in the United States. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of the products really quick the one that I use the most, um, it's called uh, Thin Hard, and this stuff is awesome. Um, I use it to cure on my 3D eyes on, on flies. One little dot, zap it with the light, and it's on there, um, and it's on there instantly. Um, it's not like uh, some of these like, types of super glue type of things that you have to wait a few minutes for it to, for it to dry. I mean, it's, I mean, it's... You know, you zap it with the light and it's, and it's done. Um, so I use it for that. I also use this for surf candies quite a bit. Um, I'll use this as the undercoat. Um, I also use this quite regularly for like head cement instead of head cement, cement um, on larger flies like Clouser Minnows. It's a really good product uh, for that. Um, this is their larger size. Uh, this is a four ounce. It's the largest that they come. And they actually have this really neat applicator that, uh, see if you can see that only available for the four ounce but I do find that it's really nice to have but if you don't need that size they do have quite a bit of different sizes so that is the first product that I uh, that I use and this is the one I use the most uh, the next product I use this is uh, this is their thick hard this is very very thick uh, so while the thin hard penetrates thread wraps really well the thick hard uh, will will kind of build bodies. So I use this as like building bug bodies. Um, the back um, the back of like a copper john, it works really well. Um, and uh, this is kind of something that you would use any way that you use like uh, uh, the old type of five minute epoxy because it's thick like that. Um, only I find this to be a little thicker, which is nicer. It actually gives you a little more time to work with it. And then you zap it and it's done and it, it stays where where you want it. So um, <clears throat> that's the thick hard. This is uh, is really good for building bug bodies or I also use that on my uh, surf candies uh, quite regularly. Um, usually I use this to penetrate the wraps, uh, the thin hard. I penetrate the um, the, the fibers, um, get get down in there um, and then I use this to kind of build, build the rest of the body and smooth it out. The new product that they have, uh, this is called Bone Dry and uh, it's really, really thin. Actually, I think a little thinner than the, um, than the thin hard. Uh, but what's nice is it comes with a nice little uh, painted applicator, um, kind of almost like a paintbrush. And uh, it allows you to kind of, um, this one actually now, since this came out, I actually use this um, as like almost like a head cement a little more often. Um, depending on the situation, but uh, this is really nice and cures actually quite a bit quicker than some of these others. Uh, One thing to know that all these products that they have uh, cure without tackiness, especially if you use their light. Now they've got this really high powered light. This thing is just, I mean, it's a torch. Um, it takes seconds for it to cure. Um, I've used some other uh, curing lights. Um, rather, this, this, I would say, might be a little expensive. It's about forty bucks, not killer. Um, there's, you know, it's about the same price as most other ones um, from most of the curing companies. But uh, it's, you know, it's what's nice about it is that this thing is actually quite a bit more powerful than most of those others, and it will cure instantly. Those really cheap ones that you get from China, I mean, they take forever. Um, you can get them real cheap, and they do work with this with these products. That just you got to hold it on there forever, and then they break. Um, I have had this thing now for quite a long time, and I've never had any issues. Um, nice rechargeable battery with it, and it's just. Uh, you know, this thing, I mean, it lasts forever. I think I haven't charged this for uh, a good month, and I use it 
very often with almost all my flies. So then they have this flex formula and I don't use this very often. Now it would be really good with um, you know flies where you need it to bend a little bit. It's not you know these these are hard drying I and mean, they, they hard uh, they, they cure hard um, some of these other products that they have but this one's flexible so you could use it for that. I don't have any need for it um, but it is really neat to have. Uh, but what I do use this for, I have a smaller applicator um, of it that I use it, I keep in my waders. If I ever get a hole in my wader, it allows for a quick, uh, um, very quick um, mend of my wader. So I do use it for that. Um, I have this larger size, um, but I don't think I'll ever need to go through that just because I don't, I don't use that regularly, but I'm sure some people would. Um, there, there's a lot of great uses for it, not necessarily mine except for curing waders so, um, or fixing waders. But what's really nice, and this I don't think any other products are out there that are this inexpensive, but you can get this little um, set, which actually, you know, that's what I keep in my waders, but you can get this little uh, um, sample set. It's only seven bucks and you get all three. You get the, the thin hard, you get the um, thick hard, and then you get the, the flex formula. And for seven bucks, I mean, that's, you know, a lot of times people are really nervous about getting into these. They're, they're still stuck with the five-minute epoxies. Five minutes is kind of a lie. It takes forever. Um, but uh, what's nice um, about this is, you know, I mean, for a couple bottles of five-minute epoxy, in fact, I've got some right here. This five-minute epoxy, I think, was like 14 bucks. So for a little cheaper, actually, you can get into the curing resins. Um, if you really want to save a lot of money, get one of those cheap flashlights from from China. Um, you can get them on eBay for real cheap. Um, again, I don't I don't necessarily recommend it, um, but if you really want to go the cheap route, I think you can get those for like <laughs> I've seen them for like seven bucks. So for fourteen bucks, same cost as five minute epoxy, uh, you can get you know a little starter, and these these will last a while. I mean, you really don't use a lot of it, depending on you know if you surf if you use it on like surf candy, you might use a little bit more, but. Um, they last a while. I mean, I you know you can go a good, you know, probably a hundred flies if you're just using the thin hard as a, as a uh, like a head cement type of thing to keep your wraps together, or just putting on uh, 3D eyes or something like that. What's really nice, not only the price. I mean, it is a phenomenal price, but you know, really they do make quality products. This is you know they're right up there with a lot of the the major ones that you've heard of. Um, and in fact, I like them better. Um, I would, if if I if they were the same price, some of these other ones, which are much more expensive, I would still choose Solares because I, I find it to be a little better product. Um, they they really do. I mean, they were the inventors of it, so of course they're going to know um, how to make this uh, really good. So so thanks for joining me on this uh, review. Uh, this is actually a new thing I'm going to start doing is doing some reviews. So uh, stay tuned. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now go catch some fish.